Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me Farzana and Assalamualaikum. Hope you guys are doing well. So in today's video, I'll be introducing to you guys the N level exam pack series. So the upcoming videos that I'll be uploading will be basically about N levels, share you guys more tips and tricks and so on. So in today's video especially, I'll be sharing with you how to study during the break and a bit of time management. So without further ado, if you guys are keen and really want to know more, please watch until the end and don't forget to like share and subscribe so let's get started okay so for the first one is how to start studying i think a lot of people um they really have the difficulty to actually get the ball rolling including myself so what i will usually do is that once once i wake up i will actually set my mindset in the morning like okay today what are the things i want to do so before i head to the shower before i start my breakfast i know what i want to do so it actually helps to register my body and my mind to the study mode and also it doesn't um cause me to actually drag a lot of things like you know after breakfast or oh, i just want to play my phone but no it's like okay after breakfast i just want to study so it does really help for me but if you guys really want to try it out or you guys have any other methods feel free to comment down below but here's a way that i actually start my study okay so let's move on to the second one for the second one is to actually when to study so since you guys have like a week to study without any classes or maybe some of you guys might have some consultation so i will usually break my day into three study slots so it will be in the morning one followed by the tea break timing or, or even in the afternoon and lastly will be in the evening so some people tend to actually if you guys are more like really want to go all out you guys can actually add like four timing slots so it will be like for example early in the morning we start at eight and then full at one then full by four and then last one really in the, in the evening and i also realized that some people will actually start studying for 4 a.m onwards or even for 5 a.m but i'm not a type of person and if you guys are not a type of person listen to me okay so if you guys want to really start your first shift of study in the morning you guys can actually target around 9 30 a.m to 10 p.m i think it's really ideal because the latest will be 10 a.m and you will finish around 12 p.m so it's kind of like your lunch time so technically speaking you have ample amount of time in the morning for you to study and it's not too early for your body to function for me right now i'm really used to you know starting classes at 9 a.m so having a 9 30 is kind of privilege for me and as for you guys since the holidays maybe loosen up a bit and start at 9 30 so yeah it's a bit of like a guidance for you guys but this actually depends on your own preference in terms of when to start studying but yeah i will usually put three study slots in my day throughout the week for before the end level starts so let's move on to the next one so i have you guys on when to study but right now how long should i study in that study slot so mine um kind of advice would be a maximum of two and a half hours but a minimum should not be lesser than one hour 30 minutes so your minimum should target about one hour and 30 minutes but if you guys have like your own preferences go ahead or i think the best guideline would be actually your papers the duration of your paper itself so here's a small small little tip for you so if you guys are starting in the morning try to choose a subject that is easy or even try to choose a topic that is easy to start with so that your mind and body is like more uh, getting starting the engine really not not too difficult for you to comprehend so that from once you get from the easy ones your body started to be more be more focused and be more motivated because you're getting the right answers <laughs> you know what to do and then coming up to it's like after half an hour of start uh, after after half an hour of you studying you can then start with the intermediate uh, questions or even the harder questions that requires to to really think more so yeah for the last component i think a question that i would like to emphasize uh, comes from someone who actually asked me so there'll be a time where you experience two content heavy exam um, subject on a day so we'll be having in the morning also having in the afternoon so what i'll usually do uh, would be we'll actually study bb for it bb for it so what i mean is that during that week where you have that exam um subject um that week should be basically not practicing anymore it will just be reading looking through and mistakes again refresh your mind memorizing and so on so let me give you a 
really concise um, example so that you guys understand. So for instance, you will be having your science and your mathematics on a Friday. So I usually take two to three days uh, before to really study for this to read up because I know that if I want to start one day before, it's going to be too late and it's really content heavy. So for example, my mathematics starts in the morning shift. So three days before will be on Tuesday, I will start to study and read up again, like maybe break it up, maybe like um topic one to topic four will be reading on Tuesday, and then on Thursday will be topic four to topic six, and then oh sorry on Wednesday will be topic four to topic six, and Thursday will be the last few topics. Then as for my um second subject uh which is in the afternoon shift, I will only start on Wednesday, so will be like the topics uh the first maybe half of the topics or one quarter of the topics on Wednesday, and then on Thursday will be two third of the topics, and last but not least, after the mathematics examination you have your break right there is where i read up my last few topics of my second examination which is the science part so that is how i usually like juggle my time okay guys so basically that's the end of this video hope you guys managed to learn and get a bit more tips on how to study during your break if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below and i would like to ask you guys if you guys want to study with me videos so that to accompany you guys during your study week so let me know in the comment section and say i want study videos okay so see you guys on the next episode and see you soon and all the best for your end levels next week bye i've been changing up my direction